Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Priceless. Trump just got massive revenge on Obama. Today is the day. President Trump has done remarkably well over the last year and a half that he has been in office. More so than most people expected, which is good for America and the American people. While many of his detractors from within the party and from the opposition party have wished to mill he has continued to rise to the occasion. And his approval ratings prove this. Furthermore, in comparison to President Obama, he blows all his predecessors out of the park. The Gateway Pundit reported. According to the latest Fox News poll President Donald Trump has a better rating than Presidents Obama and Reagan at the same point in their presidencies. President Trump's approval is now at 45 percent. And that is with 90 percent negative coverage from the far-left mainstream media. President Trump minus 45 percent. President Obama minus 44 percent. President Reagan minus 44 percent. On June 9, 2010 Barack Obama's approval number was 46 percent on the Rasmussen poll. President Trump's approval number is at 47 percent according to Rasmussen today. Again. That is with 90 percent extremely negative coverage for President Trump. These poll numbers come despite the negative narrative that the mainstream media has been perpetuating about the president. News outlets are depicting him as spinning out of control with his calls that the Mueller investigation is unconstitutional, saying he could pardon himself, as well as asking for an indictment of former Federal Bureau of Investigation Director James Comey. Yet his approval rating is better than ever. Fox News reported. And Times cover portrays him as a lordly king, besotted by visions of absolute power. So how is it that Trump's approval rating has bounced back to 45 percent in the new Fox News poll, and 44 percent in the Wall Street Journal slash NBC poll? While that's not a fabulous number, it's roughly where Barack Obama was for several years, and hardly the statistic you'd expect from someone on the verge of political oblivion. One obvious answer is the economy, stupid. We are at 3.8 percent unemployment, matching the lowest number in decades. And more than half in the Fox poll approve of Trump's handling of the economy. But it goes deeper than that. Much of the public simply isn't breathlessly following all the scandal stuff and controversies and flap of the day flare ups the way the press corps is. Many voters shrug off his provocations and exaggerations because they think he is delivering for them on kitchen table issues and like his economic warfare against China. Trump has also consolidated his Republican support to a remarkable degree, except for some contrarian lawmakers and conservative pundits, he is the GOP. After more than 16 months in office, despite the media's hair on fire approach, the country is growing more accustomed to his reality show style. Things that once would have been explosive, he dictated the denial involving the Trump Tower meeting after his aides denied it. Now barely last a news cycle. He has changed the game. As Rich Lowry puts it in Politico, Trump seems a little less exotic, his zaniness isn't as strange or threatening as it seemed at the outset. Trump's tweets have gone from unprecedented use and abuse of the bully pulpit to something like the wallpaper of our national political debate. Now the Journal-NBC poll does contain some warning signs. By a 25-point margin, voters say they're more likely to back congressional candidates who serve as a check on Trump. 50% of those surveyed saying they want a Democratic-controlled Congress, with 40% wanting the GOP to remain in charge. But I'm always wary of such national figures when these are ultimately local races, and only competitive in some districts. The pundits who once saw a blue tsunami coming are now not so sure that Trump will cost the Republicans the House. And with the president heading this weekend to Singapore, liberal New York Times columnist Nick Kristof says this, sadly, Democrats in Congress are responding in a quite Trumpian way, they seem more concerned with undermining him than supporting a peace process with North Korea. Trump's newfound pragmatism is infinitely preferable to the threat of nuclear war that used to hang over all of us, so it's mystifying to see Democrats carping about any possible North Korea deal. Kristoff, who previously criticized smug liberals like himself for knee-jerk opposition to everything Trump does, has a point. It's not that the president, who has been busy lowering expectations for the Kim meeting, is going to instantly strike a deal. But he no longer appears the warmonger that critics say is recklessly taking the country to nuclear war. None of this means that Trump's polls can slide if he makes mistakes or the Russia probe takes a menacing turn. But there is a yawning gap between his actual support and the media's portrayal of an embattled and unpopular president. President Trump has been keeping all of his campaign promises and more. He has funded the border wall, he has provided comprehensive tax reform, he has instituted steel and aluminum tariffs, he has held North Korea's feet to the fire and gotten them to concede and brought peace to North and South Korea. 
This is after just one year on the job. Imagine what he could do with the remaining 2.5 years. The American people are recognizing his work and they want to reward him, and they have with their support. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.